What is up guys, Adrian here from Lodge TV. We're back to film a little video to tell you what's new at the park. Basically gonna go check out the Raptor construction and go check out what's going on at Universal and here at City Walk because we have some construction here. So I just want you guys to see it, so come on and join me. All right, now if you guys didn't hear, the movie theaters are coming back, basically. It's three dollars for children to watch a movie, five dollars for adults, and it's only Friday or Sunday. And it's usually like classic movies. Yes, sir. Okay, and last time I was out here, this thing, you know, probably about the same state, but who knows what's going here? Do you guys have any idea what's going here? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think's down here. So if you guys didn't know, this took over Fossil Pick and fresh produce as well as billabong so all that good stuff got taken out for this baby who knows what's going here i have no idea so yeah we should see progress on this come like two months from now we should be able to see more of an idea of what this is but right now like i said no idea it could be a store it could be a I've been joking around saying that it could be an escape room, but who knows? We'll know in due time. So first on our map will be going to Universal. In terms of new things being open, they just recently reopened the pharmacy, which is like a little ice cream place. If you guys ever want to come eat some ice cream, they have some bomb ice cream here. It's a mini Ben and Jerry's, so yeah. Right now I'm gonna go into the annual pass holder lounge to pick up my button. Don't know if I've actually, actually ever shown you guys the annual pass holder lounge. There's the rear. And that's where you get your button. And we'll grab my mouth. So this month's annual pass holder button is Jason Bourne themed. Yeah. In case you guys are wondering. You guys want our honest opinion on Bourne, go check out the videos that we have of us talking about our experience with Bourne. It was a really fun attraction to watch. I enjoyed it a lot. Possibly one of my favorite shows at the park. Oh, we're walking. Here's some character meet and greets too. Best villain around. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Patrick. So as I made my walk all the way out to Central Park, I noticed that the U break slash U rest areas are right here. They divide off. Now, if you look here, this is where the show really is. The show for Marathon of Mayhem, where it was last year. You can space people out pretty well here. If you look at the squares right here in front of me, you can put a party here and a party here and do that all the way down. So I feel like this can be controlled very well. And I think the Marathon of Mayhem can happen. Who, who's down for Marathon of Mayhem Volume 2? I know I am. So I was walking to UT and I made a small realization that ever since this park's reopened, I haven't come back here. And this Curious George area has been one of my favorite parts to come. And it's closed due to COVID right now. But this could be good. They could be preparing social distancing markers for the house that they put back here for Horror Nights. So, you know, positivity. Remember guys, positivity is key. Never forget that. But yeah, I'm gonna ride Woody Woodpecker because it's been forever since I've ridden it. And then I'm gonna go ride E.T. I don't see it, but water! Guys, I just got off of ET and the water was on. So usually all the water effects are off because of all this crazy stuff, but the water effects were on today. Weird. 
So last time I was out here, the only thing covered was just the Fear Factor sign. No big scream over it. This usually is an implication for Horror Nights. However, normally the sign here, they had one before. I saw it on Twitter. Not 100% sure on who put it up. I'll put it on the screen right there. But it normally doesn't say Fear Factor won't be live tonight. It usually says Fear Factor is closed due to Halloween Horror Nights or preparation for Halloween Horror Nights or something of that nature. So yeah, so it's weird. They might be putting something here for Horror Nights or they might just be using this for a rest area, which I hope not. Also, they covered this sign as well. But hopefully it's something for Horror Nights because Lord knows we need shows. If not, the lines get atrocious. The lines are already long as is with all the social distancing. So just imagine with not having any show. But along with that, I'm gonna hop on this train behind me and switch parks. Hey guys, Why you you long and the water effects were on here as well. Nobody moves. They weren't on for transformers, but free. they're on here. So just a little bit. That's my boy Jordan right there, and his girlfriend. All right, so oh while, <laughs> while we were standing here, we noticed that the rock work for uh, the River Adventure looks similar to the rock work for the Velocicoaster. We also have a lot of stuff going on here. So yeah, let's just walk around and see how this looks. If you guys, uh, you guys can see the top hat from over here. It's finally finished. See that Jurassic World flag up there as well. Meaning that this is a Jurassic World coaster and not a Jurassic Park coaster. You can also see that beautiful watchtower from here. It's gonna be such a long coaster, such a fun coaster, you guys. Here we have a closer look at the control center. And then if we back up a little bit, we can see the top hat from back here. Which, if you guys don't know, the top hat's the highest point of the attraction. See it right there behind Burger Diggs. All right, guys. So that's about it. We got Jordan back here. Yes, sir. Go right here as well. I can't see myself on the camera, but it's fine. We had a fun day at the park today. It was super lit. It was super lit. Super, super lit. lit. Had a great time. They're gonna be making a channel very soon. It's so on the come up. It's on the come up. So trust me, I will be talking about them in the near future. <laughs> With all that being said, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Wear a mask, and stay excellent, my dudes. Yes, sir.